Hi again. Have you ever worked with cedar? You may be fascinated that it's soft enough to not go with your saw blades. When you go to finish it, it's a whole other story. Here's one that I built for a customer for handgun storage. It's got no finish on it, but this video is going to be about just that, putting a finish on cedar, because it's a little bit harder than finishing oaks and the other hardwoods, because it's kind of like pine, and it's uh, very absorptive. For starters, I'll take off the hardware so that I can start the finishing process. First of all, to seal it, I'm going to seal it with some wiping shellac, which is nothing but regular shellac that's been thinned. Mount's not really important. I'm just going to guess where to put the uh, thinner to. Two paper towels and it mix right here. You put it on, you gotta put it on real quick and wipe it off real quick. Bottom. Now I'll move on to the front. When doing the front, I don't want it to get down to these edges here, so I'll try to make sure the paper towel is pretty dry when I get to that point. Far so good. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry for having it where you can't see it. This side was on a little thicker than I wanted, so I'll just give it a wipe. Okay, ready for the back. Okay, still coming along good. There's still a little bit of shellac on here, but not much. So I'm going to take it and go ahead and do these edges because I don't want it drooping down over the sides. So I want this almost dry and doing these little details here. So I'll move on to the top. Again, a little over wet. Let's wipe it off. Now I'll finish these other edges. One more time where I lapped over. Knock it back off. And your fingers will be sticky if you don't wear gloves. But there it is. It's nowhere near shiny, but it is sealed enough that now I can spray it with lacquer or whatever I want to and it won't take a whole can. So now it's ready for spray. I'm just going to use this regular like lacquer that you can get for like three or four dollars a can. Got Lowe's, Walmart, or anywhere else. Done shook it for well over a minute. I'm going to spray the bottom and then I'm going to put it up on these and spray the rest. While I'm here, I'll go ahead and put one coat on the top. Then I'll let it sit for at least for a few minutes. I always try to get where I can get a glare pattern so I don't have the overspray look.
And now for the top. And that's all for the first coat. Now it's time for the second coat. I already sprayed the bottom again with the camera off. The top's trying to orange peel on me today, so hopefully it'll still look good. And there's the second coat. Time for the third coat. Course around the knots to make a little bit more finish. As for the top, I put it on pretty thick last time. I don't want to push them all up, so I'm just going to wait. And there you have it. The third coat was the final coat. I'm going to bring the camera in here in a second and show you a glare pattern on it. But that looks real nice to me. There's the top. The back. The front. And of course the sides. Hope my lighting is decent enough in here to give you an idea. The top did an orange peel a little bit. But it still looks nice to me. And the inside is still left unfinished. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
This is a, uh, a way I've been finishing these for quite some time. It works real good for me. And uh, with it being sealed, the lacquer doesn't soak in like it normally would. Then it would take four, five, maybe even six coats. I wanted a satin sheen, so three got me what I wanted. A little orange peel on the top like I mentioned earlier, but it looks really good. So if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. See you next time.